Hello and welcome again to another video on number theory. So today we will talk about an automaton of divisibility by three. Uh, and I will explain what this is. So we can check for divisibility graphically using an automaton. So what is an automaton? An automaton is this type of picture that you see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain what it means, what all the components are and how we can use this type of picture or automaton to check for divisibility by three. So let's look at the different components and what they mean. So there are several components that of this automaton. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you the definition, an informal definition of what an automaton is and the graphical representation of that automaton. So this is the graphical representation of an automaton is basically a collection of nodes like this one zero one two in a collection of edges in this case these are the arrows that go from one node to another and sometimes to itself so what are the components here of this type of picture this type of automaton so the components are as follows the first thing is this that we call the states the states is the set zero one and two so in this case, they all correspond to these uh, circles that are here, 0, 1, and 2. Now, one thing to notice here, the numbers 0, 1, and 2 are the possible remainders when you divide by 3. That was going to come in handy later. The alphabet, as you can see here, are those labels plus 1 and times 10. So plus 1 is the label of this edge, the green ones. And times 10 is the label of this uh, cycle that is here, this curve arrow. So that's the alphabet will be the labels of the of the edges. And then the starting state, so the starting state is zero. That's, that's why it's marked with a different color. Uh, and the idea basically is that this automaton, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take as an input the number and it's gonna create a path through this tip picture and the starting state of that path will be here at zero. The accepting state is only one of them is zero in this case. The accepting state basically means when you end at that uh, node or this circle, it means that the, the number is gonna be accepted and in this, in this sense, accepted means that it's divisible by three. So this is the accepting state. And the transition function here is the director arrows with the corresponding labels that are here. Now this will be the, uh, the definition of an automaton and this is the graphical representation of it. And we're gonna use this graphical representation to check for divisibility by three. Okay, so this is the automaton of divisibility by three. So how do we check for divisibility? So to use this automaton, we need First, we need to represent any natural number as an order sequence of addition plus one and multiplication by 10. So how do we do that? Uh, you can do that because any number can be obtained adding one and multiplying by 10 uh, starting from the number zero. So let me give you an example on how that can be done. We always need to do this before you use the automaton to check for divisibility by three. So let's see an example. Let's write the number 321 as a sequence of addition plus one and multiplication by 10. So the first thing we do is we're gonna start with the first digit of the number, which in this case is three. And this is from left to right. Starting from zero, we're gonna add one or multiply by, by 10 to obtain the whole number 321. 321. So let's do that. We start by zero, so we need to go up to the number three. So I need to add one, so that gives me one. I add another one, that gives me two. I add one again, and that gives me three. Now, once I get that first digit, I need to move to the second one digit, that is two, because I need to move to the second digit every time you move to another digit to multiply by 10. So I'm gonna take the number three, and I'm gonna multiply by 10. That, of course, is gonna give me 30. I need to produce this digit now two. So I need to add one, one time, and another time to get 32. 
Now I need to move to the next digit. The next digit is 1. So from 32, I'm going to have to move to the next position. So I'm going to multiply by 10. And then I need to produce the 1 right here. So I'm going to have to add 1. And that's going to produce the number 321. Now the sequence of plus 1 and multiplication by 10 that is produced from this representation is the sequence in the order starting from here. So it's going to be plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 times 10, plus 1, plus 1, times 10, and plus 1. You put that in an order sequence, so the sequence would be that one that you see right there, and that sequence is going to produce a path on the automaton or the figure that we saw at the beginning. So this is the, the sequence that we got from number 3, 321, and this is the automaton. So we're going to start at the starting node, which is this one, 0, that is marked with red. And we're going to follow the path that is indicated by the sequence, starting here at 0. So plus 1 will be my first thing that I have to do. The starting from 0, the plus 1 will only take this direction that you see in this color right here. Now I'm at number 1. So I'm going to read the next element in that sequence. That will be a plus 1. So plus 1 from here, there is only one way to go, and it's up in this direction. So it's going to be plus 1, going to the node number 2. At the non node number 2, I need to go plus 1, so I need to take only this direction. So that will be taking me back to the 0. Now at 0, the next number or the next element in the sequence is a times 10. That's going to take me in this uh, cycle here, so it's going to give me, give me back take me back to the 0 again. So I'm still at 0. Now at 0, I have a plus 1. You can only go in this direction because the arrow indicates what direction you are able to go. So in this case, I'm going to go down again to the uh, 1. At 1, I have to go again another plus 1. So I'm going to go into the direction of 1. Now I multiply by 10. Or the next element, element in the sequence is a 10. So I'm going to do the cycle at 10. I'm still at 2. And then the plus 1, we end up here at 0. If that sequence that you get from your number ends at this 0, the conclusion will be that the number 321 is divisible by 3, or 3 divides 321. Now, of course, this is a long way to do it. And it's, of course, it's easier to apply the criterion of divisibility by 3 by adding d digits but of course this is just graphical so I wanted to show you this graphically why because it looks nice that's that's the whole purpose here so this is another way to do it now there is more to this automaton that I was just showing you now now this is the automaton of divisibility by 3 the nodes where the path ends is the remainder of the number now this 0 here when your path ends here that means that the remainder of the number divide, divided by 3 is 0. But if it ends at 1 or it ends at 2, then that's going to tell you what is the remainder of the number divided by 3. So this basically tells you what is the remainder of that division. So to see that, let's look at an example. Okay, so let's determine the remainder of 124 when you divide it by 3. So remember the first thing you want to do is if we want to use the automaton, we need to express the number 124 as a sequence of plus 1 and multiplication by 10. Now, if you do that, the same is about the same way we do it. So that's going to be the sequence that you're going to get. And if you want, you can double check that that's the sequence. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that sequence and take the, my automaton and then follow this path starting at 0 using this notation that is here. So here, I'm just going to show you how it is. I'm not going to explain it again because I already showed you in detail in the first, the first part. So now let's see the animation. Starting, of course, at zero again. So in this case, what happened was that this path ended at this node here, number 1. What that means is that the remainder of 124 divided by 3 
is one. Now, uh, you might have many questions about what I just told you. So how did I know that I have, that this is the automaton of divisibility by three? How about I want to have an automaton of divisibility by four, by five, by six, and so on. To do that, uh, you have to follow an algorithm. So there is an algorithm that given any number n, you can construct yourself an automaton that is going to give you divisibility by that number. But that will be a topic for the next video. So that's all I have to say for today. Thank you for watching. Take care and good luck.